Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. So today we are having the news regarding Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra as culprit, like the overheating of the smartphones. And we, as we all know from Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 back to Snapdragon 888, Snapdragon 888 smart processor, they were heating a lot and it was causing the issue. And in normal smartphones, you don't have space to put a camera in, not a camera, like a fan inside so that it can cool off which you can see in gaming PCs only gaming phone supported but the main culprit here is ARM uh, as the insider report has stated like the new ARM architecture for X1 and X2 prime cores are causing the setting issues as the instruction sets they had used is causing issues with it so basically in computer languages it is done in ones and zeros which is a binary format and our instruction sets they have instruction sets and since our language starts from A to in English it starts from A to Z and special symbols these characters needs to be translated into ones and zeros for the processor to inst understand and work on it so these instruction sets are important so that they are able to convert this into ones and zeros and into binary formats basically and to work on it and that's causing the issue like this instruction sets are not optimized in a way and this causes the processor to overheat and overwork which in turn causes the smartphone chip to get overheated causing the performance degradation as, as this is the, from the arm from the hardware source you can't do anything about it but arm now knows the issue and they might fix it in next uh, prime course and this is not from snapchat from the as we have started thought like it was made by samsung and that's why it has in, having the issue but TMC, tmmc tmc sc is also having the same issue so you will say like apple also makes arm uses arm to make a series of cpus and apple uses a lot of money to for to make these processors and they work in close partnership to arm to make these cpus so they are optimized and highly efficient and they work in close proximity to ARM which no smartphone companies Qualcomm or MediaTek does with ARM. So that's why it has major issues. On top of that Samsung is going to work with ARM to develop their own in-house SOCs only for this Samsung Galaxy smartphones and it's not going to be Exynos. It is going to be a completely different tailor made for Galaxy smartphone processors which might come next year in S23. So what do you think about this? Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe. And subscribe to the channel. I will meet you in the next one. Peace out.